right at the tail end of filming this video for you guys. Uh, it's about an ASRock motherboard. Um, I had some problems right at the tail end of the video, of course, basically when I'm done, but not quite done, if that makes any sense. Um, so let's kind of just, I'm just making this vlog basically to get something out there and show you guys uh, kind of what I've been dealing with uh, for this video. All right, so this is basically what's going on here. So this is the uh, Corsair Hero board that uh, you guys have seen in a previous Ryzen video. And this is the ASRock board that is going to be replacing it where I intended to replace it with. Uh, but my LSI card decided to die. Um, and if this doesn't work, then we can't use that board at all because it only has, um, let's see here, four SATA ports, which normally isn't a big deal, but since I don't have a working LSI card, I can't actually use this. So the reason why we're going back to having a graphics card, or at least the intention was, is that um, so for this build, and this is like huge spoilers, by the way, uh, for this build, I've finally dropped all VM usage. So I got to the point where basically I'm comfortable with using um, containers and a VPN pass through to containers. So, to, so that way I could reach my remote server. I plan on talking about all this stuff, by the way, in that video, but uh, it may not even happen anymore. Uh, so anyway, so since I dropped virtual or uh, VM usage, I don't even need my um, ASUS expansion card. Let's take a look at that. So if you're not familiar with what I mean by the ASUS expansion expansion card, uh, this is the uh, Hyper X16 card, and you can basically put four NVMe drives in it. And if your motherboard supports bifurcation, then you can use multiple NVMe drives on your system. And I can no longer do that, or what I mean to say is I no longer need to do that because I don't do any virtualization, so the unassigned NVMe I no longer need. And as you can see here on the ASRock board, it actually has two NVMe in about two slots on board, which is really cool, so Unraid will be able to do a RAID 1 cache. Now, I won't be able to do that anymore on this board because it only has one N.2 slot on this board. I think it'll be okay to run a, for a while with a outer RAID 1 cache on this board. I'm not too worried about losing anything um, for now, but I'd really like to have RAID 1 cache in the long run, uh, which actually makes things really complicated with the ASRock board. And I don't want to get into too many details in, uh, right now about it, um, just in case that we end up do using that board. But uh, basically, long story short, uh, without I can either run with graphics or I can not run with a graphics card. That's that's basically the gist of it. So it kind of just depends on what I want to do there. Um, wow, so I think that's a pretty good update for this weekend. I'm just going to throw this computer back together and get it working so that way I can actually have like my Plex server back up and also have better network connectivity because right now without uh, the server being up, all my Unify stuff, it's not down, but Basically, I have DNS issues, and I have to go to each individual machine and add like a Cloudflare uh, DNS or Google DNS, so they, that way they have access to the internet. Um, so anyway, guys, I, I, I don't know when it's going to be for the next video, at least for the an updated Ryzen build, but uh, it might be a while. So, peace.